you have a toxic boss, one who ridicules you, critiques you, micromanages you, um, feels like, makes you feel like you, nothing you do is ever good enough, uh, who has you walking on eggshells all the time, okay, all, you know, you know, if you have it, you know what it's like. Okay, watch this, because I want to talk about how to get out of this toxic boss relationship that you're in. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Sarah Croto and I'm a certified career and leadership coach. I help people find their dream jobs where they can work less, make more money, and finally feel happy doing work they love because they no longer have a toxic boss. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, the Find Your Find Work You Love uh, channel. Uh, I come here every week and drop a new training just for you so that you can find your dream job too. So make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single one. Okay, toxic bosses. I've had my, my fair share. I've also had toxic work relationships, toxic cultures, but I really want to talk about the boss relationship right now in this interview. I've talked about toxic workplaces and stuff before. You can go watch this. Um, but this is a very specific one targeted at an emotion you're feeling that is actually keeping you stuck and trapped versus having you, like propelling you to get out of this toxic boss relationship. Now, and that emotion is resentment. You resent your boss for the shitty, can I even swear on YouTube? I don't know. We'll see. Um, situation that they have left you in. Resenting them for making you question everything, for dreading going into work, for never being able to do good enough by their standards for having to like nitpick everything that you do and have to see everything you do. You resent them. But here's the problem with resentment. Resentment is a poisonous feeling that's always simmering. It never fully disappears. In fact, it's the poison that seeps into all areas of our life. We know this is happening when we are losing our temper at our loved ones super quick because we're just can't let go of our frustration and our resentment for our toxic boss. Um, we know it's happening when things kind of become dull and gray, like we're just not excited about things anymore because it sort of seeps everywhere. But you're misnaming your emotion. According to Brene Brown, when she wrote Atlas of the Heart and she talked about resentment, it was like a mind blown moment for me. And it has continued to be a mind blown moment for my uh, clients who've been in toxic bosses and toxic work situations. When we actually understand the true meaning of resentment, resentment is not, is like more than one thing. It is a combination of anger, and jealousy. We resent them because we're angry at them because we wish we could be in their scenario, which is why we hear resentment talked about in relationships quite often. We resent someone because they could go after their career dreams while we've had to stay home. Or we resent someone for staying home while we make the money for the family. Like that's a very common like resentment, which is an actual true use of resentment. But in all likelihood, you are not jealous of your manager. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be them. So instead, we need to remove jealousy from the equation, which means you're not resenting them. It means you're just pissed off. You're just angry. And anger is a great emotion to feel. It's not like amazing, but you know, it's way better than resentment because anger is a flash in the pan emotion. It comes and it goes. 
yeah, it can stay a little bit longer, but if we process it, it's actually so much easier to process. Resentment is very hard to process because it's that simmering rage uh, mixed with that and en- that jealousy and enviousness. But with anger, you can process it. Anger is also an emotion to propel us into motion. Resentment, I picture resentment as a simmering, like you're just kind of sitting in, in a chair or a corner and like your hands, like you're just gripping your hands and you're just like, your whole body is tense and you're just like kind of statuesque. It's hard to move. Whereas anger is like coursing through our veins. It's like an explosion happening in our body. It like forces us to want to like move, to like do something, to like yell, to expel this big emotion that's happening inside of us. So when we can shift from resentment to anger, it allows you to then be propelled into action. It also resentment to that jealousy. If like, if we are mistyping it, the jealousy kind of starts to mess with our head. That's why we really start to absorb all of the things that they're saying to us, which really has an impact on our confidence. Whereas if we're angry, if we're like, this is wrong, they should not be treating us this way. There's something wrong with them, not something wrong with me. You get angry about it. It builds your confidence up versus tearing it down because you're not internalizing the things that they're saying. Like you can tell I'm super passionate about this because I hate when toxic bosses win because when we're in resentment, they are winning. But when we're in anger, you are winning because you are going to leave. And to process that emotion, you're going to want to get it out. And we're not going to want to get it out at your manager because, you know, (laughs) we wish. In your dreams, you can. Uh, We also don't want to get it out with our family. So I do want you to find some sort of activity that allows you to get it out. Like maybe it's going boxing. Maybe it's going to one of those, I don't know if they have them, or you can like smash plates and doors. You see them in movies sometimes. Um, Maybe it's like hitting baseballs, like trying to hit home runs. Maybe it's sprinting in some capacity. Um, Like it's just like, get out of me. So that you can then move into a job search feeling like determined instead of angry. So using that anger to fuel you into motion, processing that anger so that we can get into determination to get the hell out. And in that determination, that's when you're job searching and that's when you're able to do things. Um, So let me know what you think. Ask some questions about how to shift from resentment to anger. Anger is not where we're going to want to end up. You're going to want to end up in a different state, but anger is a much better state than resentment because at least it gets you moving. So if you're in a toxic boss relationship, let me know. Let me know how I can help. I can help in so many different ways, but I can definitely help in the comments uh, down below this video. Uh, Shift that resentment to anger. You're not jealous of them. You're just angry. You're pissed off. How dare they? And then let's find you a dream job where they don't treat you like crap, where they value you and they recognize everything you bring to the table. Because let me tell you, it's a lot. Okay? Okay. I don't think next week's is so heavy and serious, (laughs) so so boxy. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to to like this video if you got value from it. Uh, Let me know below and also subscribe so that you don't miss next week's. Okay, take care. Bye. If you liked this video, then I invite you to join me in the Find Your Dream Job program where you work less, make more money, and finally feel fulfilled doing work that you love. Find out more at www.sarahcurdo.ca forward slash C-Y-L-A. See you there.